So, um, it's now 11.30. Um, I got in contact with pretty much everybody except for one uh, who I believe she's a snowbird and I believe she's still in Florida anyway. Uh, this stuff should be melting. So, um, anyway, long story short, I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch these videos together or if I'm going to put them in, uh, make, if they're going to be separate, uh, a line on the, a hose line on the plow. I don't want to say blue, but more or less blue. Uh, there's a crack in it and it's not just dripping, but it's spitting out fluid. Um, when it's under pressure, when it's being raised. Um, so, um, with that being said, um, luckily this was only a, like a little two inch event. It was borderline anyway. Got everybody done. I feel bad. There's one customer where there's just that stuff all over. It's ATF fluid. Um, and it's just all over the place in his driveway. But, um, I think I, I did throw a lot of salt. He's a salt customer too. And uh, I'm just hoping it kind of runs off uh, and you know, it's fine. Um, he's a good guy. Um, let me just get through here quickly. Um, but anyway, I have, um, actually that guy, I have his in-laws left. Um, they're gonna get a little uh, salt down uh, but that's out of the way. Um, I am in the car now because I don't want to use the plow. Um, I added fluid to it, but it's still spitting out and I don't want to get people's driveways destroyed. Everybody's pretty much done. I got one guy who's uh, seasonal prepay who lives in, uh, it's a home, but it's in an HOA, really small driveway. Um, he's super nice. Oh, it's always texting me telling me uh don't worry about me to, you know basically save me to last i'm not going out uh he didn't say anything today but i want to make sure it's borderline it's probably like now now the sun's out um or sun's trying to come out it's probably like an inch and a half of snow i bet uh, some of it has melted a little bit so it's starting to melt off uh but nevertheless because he's so nice I will, i'm just gonna shovel it's sometimes it's easier with this small stuff anyway to shovel um, to shovel the driveway and uh, rather than plow it because there's nowhere to really put it uh, and the plow doesn't scrape it perfectly anyway. Um, so that's kind of the plan. I'm just going to, uh, I got to fill up this car. There's no fuel in it. Um, so running into town, he's in town. Uh, I'm going to fill up this car gonna shovel his driveway then make my way over to my one property that's out of the way they're older I just want to make sure salts down I'm not gonna bother shoveling I'm not gonna bother plowing I just want to make sure salts down helps it melt it quickly and uh, just because they're older and I don't want them uh, slipping and falling and uh, you know so that's that with that um, this afternoon I do have one that I subcontract out but I always tell the guy on borderline stuff like this don't do it um, but it's another older lady so if I have free time this afternoon I would think I'm gonna take a ride over there anyway just throw a little extra salt down uh, this is all stuff I can do in the car and um, 150 pound bag you know I'm just use a hand spreader it's not a big deal um, but that's, uh, that's my plan for, uh, tackling this. Unfortunately, the plow place is not open today and this is holiday, this is a holiday weekend. This is President's Day weekend. So it's a Saturday of President's Day weekend. I doubt they're open Monday. Um, but hopefully I have it in, uh, first thing on Tuesday and it's just a hose, um, but I want to make sure they look at all the other hoses and, um, you know, and just get it in. I, I'd rather them deal with it, check everything. Uh, it was also, the cylinder was just covered in that stuff. And I think it was from the hose, um, rather than the cylinder, but the cylinder was also caked in it. Um, when I cleaned it up, it looked like 
it looked fine and it looked like it was just the leak coming from the bottom of the hose uh, but I rather them just check it out make sure everything's good and I think that's what's gonna happen most likely on Tuesday um, well I'm gonna bring it there Tuesday we're gonna see uh, but you know this is important to uh, you know uh, right uh, I have I did not have it in the truck which I kind of regret but it's uh, it, it was fine I was able to make it home um, but the plow when it was raised it's the cylinder that raised it raises and lowers the plow you can see real quick here uh, I'm gonna pan in a second once these uh, you can see it's starting to really become a sunny day um, but um, anyway it's the it's the hose that goes to the cylinder that raises and lowers the plow. So with the plow was raised in my driveway as I was kind of looking at it and uh, I couldn't see it physically moving, but uh, over the course of uh, 10, 15 minutes while I was stopped, it was, um, the plow was starting to sag down. So it wasn't, it wasn't holding, it wasn't locking in the upright position. Uh, so I filled it. It had basically had no fluid left in it. Um, I filled it. It's not all the way filled because I didn't have at the time. I didn't have enough fluid. Um, getting AT, extra ATF now, uh, automatic transmission fluid. Um, but um, but yeah, it filled it and now it's holding up. But uh, I put it down. I have extra. Uh, whatever drips out and whatever I'll fill uh, as we go on uh, but the truck and plow are just gonna sit all weekend until I can get it in uh, to Trailer King uh, in Poughkeepsie the, the next uh, in the next few days um, but that's the plan if you have a car continue to work help these people out they get they uh, give you money uh, and uh, you know make sure to keep it pay forward to them Okay, I am at my local boss dealer. I did make it here. Let me check this out. I don't know if you could see that as uh, maybe they, you could see from that angle inches of fluid. It's so bad. Um, there's also fluid caked all in the truck. It's all on the windshield. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's here. It's somehow even on the front here. It's all up everywhere. The thing is a mess. Complete, complete mess. So uh, I had to lift this at least. I wasn't counting. 25 minute drive here. I had to lift it. Just waiting for it to open it in a couple minutes. Let's change this around. Um, at least 10, maybe 15 times. Um, the plow had fallen. Uh, I didn't let it get down to the road, but very close. Every little bump it, lo it loses <clears throat> like a half an inch or so. And you know, every little whoop in the road and it's just, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. So it can't stay up. Um, I was able to get it here, which is kind of a far further ride. Um, but um, I think they're here now. So I'm gonna hop in. They 